welcome to Sarah Stampin' Retreat. Today we're going to make some really, really cute Christmas cards using this month's Spellbinders Clubs. And I absolutely adore this month's clubs and part of the reason is because they're so cute. So we're going to be using all the cutesy elements today to create some really fun cards. The first one that we're going to use is this die of the month. And you can see from the picture it's a really cute bear with penguin and Christmas lights. You can see there's a star on top of his head in the picture that's not going to be on my one today. And I just think this, this is so sweet. So I'm just going to start making this up as I talk to you. And I've come, kind of gone for a really kind of soft and pretty colour palette today. Pinks and blues and greys. And this is really easy to put together because there's little embossed areas that show you exactly where everything should go. So I can see that my cheeks need to go here and here because there's little embossed ovals to show me where they go. And this is honestly just so sweet. But I also think like I am going to use it in a Christmas way today because I want to make Christmas cards. But how sweet would this be? Like just like this. There's nothing Christmassy about that. So you could make some really cute kind of like winter birthday cards with it as well, which I think would be really nice. And we'll use the little penguin on its own in a minute as well because we really adore that little penguin. So I'm just popping these pieces behind the ears so that they show through. This is actually the piece that adds on to the penguin's hat. But it actually fits across the eyes really well as well. So. Normally I would kind of just cut a scrap piece of cardstock to go behind the eyes. But I just cut this from that dark grey today. I'm just going to put that behind and you can see that the eyes show through then. So then we can add our little jumper over the top. It's just so cute. And there's so many sweet little details on this. But you can add kind of as many as you want or as few as you want. So like I say, I'm going to add the lights, but not the star. And I kind of wanted to keep quite strictly to my colour palette. So I've cut the penguin in the dark grey rather than the black because I didn't want the harshness of a black. And then I don't really have any oranges in my colour palette. So I've done his beak and his feet in gold, which I think is quite fun. And these are so sweet I really want them to be the feature of the card I'm really not going to do a lot more I'm just going to add a sentiment so I'm going to use this stamp of the month and we're going to be using this sending you warm wishes wrapped in holiday cheer actually get this with a die set as well so the stamp and die of the month the dies cut out every single one of these images and sentiments so I'm going to stamp this in dark grey so then I'm going to add my bear onto my card. Then I'm going to add on my sentiment. And then I can add on these cute lights. And that cute little penguin is going to go up there. There's that card finished. I think that's really sweet. And I'm going to be coming back to that penguin on our third card. So then for this next card, I'm going to use this stamp of the month. And as I said before, there's a die for every one of those images and sentiments. So I thought I'd make a little snowy scene for this card. And I'm going to use these three images. And actually the images are kind of together in pairs. So I'll stamp them all, but I'll only use the three. And because I'm going for that softer look, then I'm going to use my grey ink again. So then I'm going to use my alcohol markers to colour those images. So then we've got our three cute little critters. 
So I've got a pale pink card blank and then I've got a piece of white cardstock the same width. And I'm just going to just cut some snow banks from them. And then I'm just going to trim a bit off the bottom of this one. So then I'm going to glue this back snow bank onto my card. And then I'm going to add the other one on with some foam tape. Then I'm going to add my little critters on with some foam pads. And then we've got a really sweet little card. So then for my third card, I want to use the wax seal of the month to create the sentiment. So the wax seal of the month this month is this most wonderful time of the year. And then we've got this gorgeous Christmas bead mix. I'm only going to use the white and the gold from this. So I'm going to put my thing on there. All of these elements come from the starter kit, by the way. So this set of wax beads actually comes with the wax seal of the month for this month. So you get the wax seal and the beads in each month. So I'm just going to leave those two melt a little in it. So now that that's melted, I can pour that out onto here. I'm going to add my wax stamp onto it. And then while that's setting, I'm going to melt four gold beads for the next stage. So I can take that off there. And we've got that lovely image, but I want it to take it a little bit further. So I'm just going to cut the edge off this. And then I'm going to pop that back in there. And then I'm going to pull this out. And I'm going to pop this in the middle of it. So then I can take this off. And then I've got the white with the gold around the outside. And then so that you can read this really nicely, I'm just going to go over it with my gold deco colour pen. And then you can see that shows up really nicely now. So for this card, I've decided to combine my little penguin and my wax seal with this corset that is from the collaboration that Lisa Horton did with Spellbinders last month. And I absolutely adore this set, so I just wanted to bring it out for this. So you'll see on the picture there's a little tree that goes with it but obviously we're not going to use that today we're going to use the penguin as our focal point so i've cut the outline in pink then we've got the biggest re stitch rectangle in gold the next one i've cut in blue and in white and i'm just going to cut kind of like a little snow mound from the white one so then i'm going to layer up those pieces onto this four and a quarter by five and a half inch blue card blank. And this gorgeous, really pale blue that's perfect for these snowy scenes is the Arctic cardstock from Spellbinders. In fact, I think most of the cardstock that I'm using on this card is from Spellbinders. They have some really gorgeous colors. And you'll notice this gold is gold on both sides. So if you're doing kind of anything 3D or anything, where you don't want the white on the other side, it's absolutely perfect. I've not seen another gold cardstock with the gold on the back as well. And I think it's nice having that stitching going on both the kind of sky bit and the snow bit. And I'm going to pop my little penguin up on some foam pads. And I'm going to pop a couple of foam pads behind my wax seal as well. And then how cute is that one? So there are our three cards for today. I'd love to know which is your favourite. Please do let me know in the comments below. I hope that you really love these cute critters. Just a quick note as well that if you are thinking how cute these are and you want to get more than a couple of the clubs for this month, it is worth thinking about the Deluxe Caboodle where you get all 10 of the clubs 
for £120 if you get it from the UK site or $120 if you get it from the US site. And that's actually less than the most expensive five clubs. So basically you get five clubs free and you get a free gift as well on top of that. So I'll link the Caboodle as well as everything else that I've used for today's cards in the description below. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate you clicking like below. You can also press subscribe if you'd like to see future videos. If you press the bell button and select all, then YouTube will also notify you when I've got a new video available. As I've said, all the products that I've used for today's cards are listed in the description below. And there's also a link there to my blog where you can find a picture supply list if that helps you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again soon.